Hello and welcome to the Fix-It Shed. So my Craftsman air compressor has a leaky regulator valve. So let's check it out. So as you can see the tank has about 110 pounds of pressure in it. The regulator, the, the regulator currently ha is off so there's no pressure coming out from the hose. Um, but if I turn this on to increase the pressure, you can hear the hissing that is coming out through the regulator. So I did try to fix this pressure relief valve. Uh, as you can see, I, I found this ring that was inside of it that was broken and I believe where the leak was coming from. Uh, I tried to seal it with some gasket maker. That didn't seem to work. So for 20 bucks, uh, you can buy these on Amazon and I will put a link to that in the description. I'm just gonna replace it. Right, so if I turn it back down. the hissing stops. So it's coming out of the regulator. The first thing that we're gonna do is drain the air out of the tank. All right, so the switch, I've turned the switch off. It's also unplugged so that the air compressor is not going to come on when I don't expect it to. Uh, there is a drain valve right here where I could release the air. There's also a drain on the bottom of it designed so that if there's any moisture in there, you can drain that out. I'm gonna do that while I'm doing this so that it uh, drains any moisture out. Alright, so look for an upcoming video from me about why you should drain the moisture from your tank regularly and how to install a drain valve extension to make it an easier process. Alright, so to get this cover off, there's a plastic nut on the valve that we want to get off. So I'm just going to loosen that. There we go. And then we should be able to slide this cover off. As you can see, we have the inlet from the tank. This is, goes up to the pressure shutoff switch. So it goes into the regulator valve. We have the regulated air pressure and we have the tank pressure and then it goes out to the hose. So I'm gonna disconnect all of this and get ready to put the new, the new valve in. Right, and then we remove the relief uh, pressure valve. Now let's spin just barely, just cleared it. All right, I'm just going to use a wire brush and clean off any of the residue that's on there. Okay. So since these fittings are brass, I also have a brass wire brush. Just try and clean this off a little bit. All right, so now I've just got some Teflon tape that I'm gonna use to coat the threads 
let's see, um, so that I get a good seal. So the valve has right. So the valve has an arrow on here to show you direction of flow. So this is coming from the tank and this is going out to the hose. Now, this one's a little bit different. Is it going to clear? No, it's, it's not going to clear. So I'm going to have to take this part off. That's all back together. Screw this back on. And tighten it up. This is just plastic, so we don't want to torque on it too much. Just make it snug. This is the regulated air. So I'm going to put some Teflon tape on this as well. There, you want to make sure you don't accidentally cover the hole here for the port. Before I put the cover back on, I want to test this out and make sure that we don't have any leaks. So I'm going to repressurize it. 
plug it in. Alright, there's about 60 pounds in there. And I'm just going to spray it with some soapy water and see if we get any bubbles at any of the connections. I don't see anything, so I think we're pretty good. So now we can put the cover back on. So it seems that the old one was a little bit narrower. This doesn't want to fit down. So I'm going to try and trim it a little bit. All right, so I'm just going to use a little rotary tool to enlarge the hole. Um, you probably don't even really have to do this. You can just leave it off. It's fine the way it is. This is just a little decorative cover. Are you seriously still recording? So that cover now fits. Alright, so the new regulator is installed and there doesn't appear to be any leaks, so I think we're in good shape. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it and give it a thumbs up. So if you'd like to support the channel, please consider subscribing or click the join button down below the video and become a member. Thanks for watching. Take care.